try and answer a few of them uh, uh, collectively. So I, and I'll pick up on the last question, hope. Hope is the key. We need hope in our region. We need hope for the Palestinians. Uh, and I will say we need hope for the Israelis, but that is all tied into leaving exactly that was just said, this cycle of violence, this repetitive uh, uh, cycle that we have entered into. You know, the definition of madness is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Samah just mentioned, you know, this is the fifth war in Gaza. Uh, you know, conflict, kinetic action on its own, is not going to give security to anyone. The only pathway to sustainable security for all of us in the region is through Palestinian uh, self-determination. The Arab states are fully committed to delivering that, but they are also committed through that to delivering a true uh, partnership with Israel and integration into the region and uh, security for all. But that will need hard decisions as well in Israel to decide that a two-state solution is the right approach. And there are the majority of Palestinians who are committed to a two-state solution that accepts Israel's right to exist. And uh, using a minority of Palestinians as a reason not to move forward on that is going to keep us exactly in this cycle of violence and it will cause us to return to where we are uh, and what I fear is the next explosion will be worse, not uh, the same as October 7th. So we must focus on exactly that word, hope. We must deliver hope for our region, and that is what we are committed to, that is what the kingdom is committed to, but that is what uh, the Arabs that uh, we have to, uh, engaged, all of our Arab colleagues are committed to. And it is, by the way, something that all of the Muslim world supports, and uh, you know, uh, 